five worst dashas of your lives was for which area well we'll talk of marriage then we'll talk for health then career education and for documentation which is you know like visa purposes and like pr citizenship and all this because in my knowledge these five areas cover 99% of the astrology queries okay but of course there are other things like you know childbirth and also the list is long if you want me to make a part 2 on other events please let me know down in the comments and before i begin we should always speak nice things right why are we discussing difficult and uh, negative things well see we should be positive in general but at the same time material world is a place of misery as lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita please let me know down in the comments which chapter which shloka number and what is the shloka where krishna says material world is a place of misery so we should not shy away from discussing difficult things in astrology right so therefore the first most difficult placement or rather the first area is let's uh, discuss marriage so now before i discuss all this you need to understand that you also need to check the nakshatra lord of these planets okay i will mention which are these for which specific areas but the nakshatra lords can de can decide if the problem is reasonable or it will go to extreme okay i i'll tell tell you how to judge that so for marriage number 1 planets in 6th or 6th lord or 10th house or 10th lord okay so if a planet is in the 6th or 10th house of your bhava chale chart should i repeat bhava chale chart not lagna chart bhava chale chart is the chart which tells you where a planet is placed house wise so if you don't know what i'm talking then please go to youtube and type exotic astrology bhava chale chart you will find it okay so the bhava chale chart tells us where a planet is placed so if you are find if you are looking for uh, somebody to get married or if you are already married and you have a planet in 6th or 10th or the 6th lord or 10th lord's dasha comes then this can be a bit challenging for your marriage now what kind of challenges could come that's important for us to discuss if the nakshatra lord is well placed so for example if you have you know mercury in the 6th house you know, and mercury is in uh, any nakshatra let's you know take revati okay so revati is lorded by mercury now because the nakshatra lord itself is mercury and mercury is also in the 6th so this can create a very difficult situation where you know there could be talks of separation and uh, in worst case there could also be divorce but suppose now you no know, mercury is placed in the 6th house but mercury is placed in uh, purva bhadrapada nakshatra and purva bhadrapada's lord is jupiter So suppose Jupiter is in the second, fifth, ninth, or seventh, or eleventh, any of these houses, then this will lead to separation because of war or you know some distance-related matters, but it won't be a marital discord. So that is how the Nakshatra Lord will tell you: Is it just a mere separation for formalities, or a separation due to marital discord, or is it divorce, or is it a bloody divorce? Okay, or is it even worse than divorce? Okay, so. Therefore, if your sixth or tenth gets activated by placement or lordships, you need to be careful in your married life. But this will hold true provided all other placements are also negative. Okay, so for example, if you have like five six planets or four five planets sitting in these two houses, and one of the planets Mahadasha starts, and then the sixth lord or tenth lord's Antardasha comes, then there could be a situation like separation or divorce. So. Uh, just one planet will not do it okay but it can create trouble it has very high potential to create uh, ruckus in the marriage okay now for health planets in the 8th house most 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 difficult 8th house is surgery 8th house is you know accidents and all the craziness of this world uh, so therefore uh, if if you have planets in the 8th and the dasha is there or the 8th lord and along with that if your lagnesh is badly placed which means your lagna lord is also in 6th 8th or 12th in the bhava chale chart <clears throat> and you know the lagna is also afflicted and the lagnesh is also afflicted by like saturn rahu ketu primarily and uh, suppose lagnesh dasha is there and then 8th house 8th lords antar dasha is there then this can really wreak havoc in your health okay so therefore 
if you have this then be very conscious about uh, accidents and uh, take precautions uh, and yeah be be careful basically okay now uh, we can't predict in general what will happen anything can happen but it's dangerous okay it's also bad for violence so be careful before you go to sensitive areas and uh, try not to travel in the night all right number 3 for profession mm -hmm. for profession planets in these three houses can be most difficult fifth eighth twelfth why why fifth house because it is eighth from the tenth house it can show promotion or downfall one of the two but suppose if the fifth lord is in eighth or twelfth or you know uh, there are planets like eighth lord twelfth lord in the fifth and that planet so dasha is active most likely it can uh, make you jobless and the nakshatra lord will decide so for example suppose your fifth lord is in the eighth okay and uh, it is uh, in a it is in nakshatra uttar bhadrapada for example your fifth lord is in the eighth in uttar bhadrapada now who is the lord of uttar bhadrapada it is saturn now imagine this same saturn is sitting in 10th or 11th then this can mean you get a promotion Okay, so then it is positive. But suppose Saturn is also in sixth, eighth, or twelfth, then this can mean you lose your job. Okay, so be very careful if the Nakshatra Lord is also in a Dusana. This is a very dangerous placement. Okay, okay. and the same with eighth and twelfth. So if you know your uh, any planet is in eighth and the Nakshatra Lord is also in sixth, eighth, or twelfth, then there could be job loss. Or same if a planet is in twelfth or twelfth Lord gets active and the Nakshatra Lord is also in uh, sixth, eighth, or twelfth. there could be job loss so if you have a job you can become jobless or if you have a business you can become bankrupt okay number 4 for education now when i say education i specifically mean uh, standard education okay like school higher secondary bachelor's master's phd for these these particular areas of life you uh, know for Uh, university school and all this you know like formal education the third house is not the best house why because third is 12th from the fourth house fourth house is the house of education and knowledge so a planet in the third will make your mind chanchal okay it it will make your mind very restless it can because third house gives you addiction for social media and like you know yeah could be uh, towards the opposite sex also sometimes because it's originally the sign of gemini right and gemini is uh, actually uh, the if you see the translation for gemini in sanskrit it's mithun rashi okay so mithun rashi is uh, mithun rashi means mithuna mithuna is sex life okay so a planet in gemini or a planet in third can make you obsessed with the opposite sex it can the eighth house or scorpio also can but primarily gemini okay and this is something which i have not said parashara has said it this is mithuna okay So uh, therefore, you need to understand that uh, Chanakya Pandit says one of the four elements of a student has to be Brahmacharya celibacy. So if the third house is active, the person is you know going on like you know. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyways, <laughs> so therefore it's not very conducive and. Suppose the third lord is in six, eight, or twelve, and the nakshatra lord is also in six, eight, or twelve. This is bang on. This is confirmed. Okay. <clears throat> so in that case, the person will not study and will run behind uh, other members of the opposite sex. So very dangerous. Okay. So parents, if your child has this question, <laughs> number five. for visa pr citizenship short travel long travel foreign travel developed country under developed country developing country all all you know documentation government and all this the second house is a difficult house why in the second house is the you know, 12th from the third house which shows you know visa documentation and all this so suppose you have uh, rahu in second and your visa interview so what will happen if you go they will tell you okay uh, your documentation is not complete give us more documents you know we want proof for this that and they can the the visa office can ask for such ridiculous documents sometimes 
if you have this placement and you are going in the interview exactly in the dasha of that planet okay then uh, that can be a nightmare for you suppose uh, let's take an example you are somewhere in the us and uh, you go to apply for visa to some other country and your ketu is in second okay and ketu antar dasha you go and apply so they'll say oh where is your 10th certificate oh i don't have it you know you have to go to india to get that certificate or your parents have to go to that particular school if your parents are not there in that city you know so it's a nightmare right or they may say oh go and translate your marriage certificate you know in our language you know you are in germany so we don't accept indian marriage certificate in english or hindi or whatever now please go and uh, get a german certificate so that will cause another delay your whole trip will be delayed okay so if you have a planet in second and that planet's dasha is running and you are planning to apply for visa or other such documents or it could be anything a permanent residency or even you are planning to apply for citizenship and if you have a trip planned later because you expect to oh, i will get this in 3 months and then you know i have my cousin's wedding or my own wedding is there after you know 3 months and i get this visa and please take some time in have have some buffer time okay it may be delayed by 2 2 3 4 5 6 months who knows okay so therefore if you have this placement and your dasha is running then try not to uh, book engagements or book a long trip before you get your documents in hand okay it should be there with you hath mein aana chahiye uske bina nahi all right and of course uh, if the nakshatra lords are also in bad houses like for example whatever like you know sun is there in uh, pushya nakshatra in second and sun mahadasha is running and pushya's lord is saturn saturn is in 6th 8th or 12th that's a nightmare okay and in worst cases they can also reject your visa okay so difficult one but nonetheless you should be prepared to go for the second time all right but if the nakshatra lord is in the 10th 3rd or 11th in that case they will tell you to give some document which you already have in your home or, or somebody can email it to you and they will tell you you don't have to come again uh, your appointment is done but you need to submit this document by a email or you know post so even then you have to go once but it is like just to submit one document and your procedures are complete okay but as i said if the nakshatra lord is in 6th 8th 12th then that's it cancelled either you will be rejected for life or you will be jailed or you have to go again with all the documents or go to your village or your town and you know get that 10 certificate and even within that there are some mistakes okay when the size went anything can happen even there could be mistakes in your uh, 10 certificate all right so please take care and don't obsess about these negative placements but understand that you should use this to or uh, take precautions like you know for example marriage career or whatever okay uh, visa purposes health so we have we have discussed everything okay and education also okay take care and for personalized consultations my website is down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video okay please take care jai sri ram